In this video, we're gonna to put together the Grit Runner Elite from True Grit Fitness. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna test it out and give you my first impression. Damn, this is an awesome piece of equipment. Hey guys, welcome to my garage gym. My name is Mike Behrens. Pumped to talk to you about the Grit Runner Elite today. Full disclosure, this was sent to me by True Grit so that I could give it a review. Couple things about me. I'm not a runner. I would never consider myself a runner, but I am a pro wrestler. I've been doing that for 20 years and I'm just a general fitness enthusiast. So getting this Grit Runner Elite is something that I am super pumped to do to help me take my fitness to the next level and take my performance to the next level. Let me jump in here real quick so I can go over the dimensions of the Grit Runner Elite. First, the overall height is 55.5 inches. The back of the runner deck height is 13 inches. The front of the runner deck height is 16 inches. The tread width is 17.3 inches. The runner deck width is 31.5 inches. The overall length is 66 inches. A footprint on the Grit Runner Elite is 14.5 square feet. And the packaging dimensions when this is shipped is 75.6 inches by 35.4 inches by 18.3 inches. This product weighs 291 pounds, but when it comes completely packaged, it weighs 335 pounds. So let's jump in, take this sucker out of the box, and get it put together. This looks like some instructions here. Got the screws. So I got the assembly guide. Uh, looks like it's pretty easy to put together. It's just gonna be seven steps. We're gonna find out here in a second. And then the hardware kit looks like it actually has all the tools in it that you're gonna need. And you don't have to have your own tools. First step, take out the console frame and console from the carton, connect the connect cable, then fix them with four pieces of M5X10 screws. This is probably the console. Take that out, a couple connectors in the back, spot for batteries. It comes with batteries, so there's four AA batteries here. And then we'll pull out the console frame. It says connect them. Which ones goes where? Those are pretty simple to do. The screws to attach the console are in the back of the console already. So we're gonna take those out. We got a screwdriver included in the hardware kit for you. Probably could do this faster if I had a drill, but for the sake of the video, I will not get my drill out. I will just use the tools provided. Let's feed that cord down in there a little bit. Oh, make sure you don't put it on upside down. Okay, that's one. Right here, there's just enough clearance <laughs> to get the screw in there, which is perfect. Don't need any more. All right, console is on. Now it says, take out the base from the carton. So the sides were packed underneath the treadmill, so when you do this, it might be easier and less clunky if you have a, help, have a helper when you're unloading the treadmill. All right, a little bit involved with that. Take the base out of the carton. Base is out, feels awesome. Connect the right, let's take these off of here first. Okay, step three, connect the right upright connecting wires, tidy up and insert the wires into the upright. Put the right upright on the bracket, then fix it with four pieces, M855 by 20 screws, but don't lock. Same assembly step on the left. Boom, looks sharp. Done really nice. It's on there very nice. Ah, this is something that I am very excited about, the resistance control. That's one of the things that makes this treadmill stand out from some of the other treadmills is it has the resistance control. So they say on the website that it's going to mimic somewhat of a sled push. So that's kind of cool. And that's one of the reasons why I was excited about, about this one. Now you connect these with those. They're pretty self-explanatory. This one's a three prong, Got that one. This one is a two prong, Got that one. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Tidy that up in there, tidy that up in there. Get those wires out of the way. So then we use these 
Get that screwed down, but it says not to tighten them all the way. So don't set them all the way, just get them in place. So let's come over to the other side. These little notches here are perfect to make this easy one person assembly. Just hangs right on there. And you can put the screws in. Ooh, we gotta push them down, <laughs> not set. Again, it says don't seat them all the way. Okay, now we got the uprights in. Step four, attach the right handrail to the right upright, then fix the upper holes with two pieces M8 by 45 screws, then fix the bottom hole with one M8 by 15 screw, then fasten all the screws. Same assembly step on the left side. Right hand has a little label on it for R, but also the cords so everything can be connected, get connected to the console all that way. The right side has cords in here that we need to pull out. They're zip tied up to hold them in. Again, same connectors. There's a two prong and a three prong. Connect them, connect them. Slide those back down in there. A little piece down here that slides on. Fits right in there. Two of these screws, put them in the top. Those are seated down in there pretty good, so you're gonna need an Allen wrench to tighten them up. And we got a very small screw for the bottom piece. Just loosely hand tighten them. Nothing to connect over here on the left side. So line them up. Find the hole down there. On to step five, attach the rubber sleeves on the left and right handrails, connect the wires from right upright and console frame, then fix the console frame and both handrails with four pieces, M8 by 25 screws and fasten them. These things Let me jump in again real quick. Now that container that I was just looking at is actually a little bit of grease so you can lubricate the machine. Now I contacted True Grit and they said most likely you're never gonna need it, but they include it just in case. It says take the rubber sleeves, slide them on, slide this one on over here, and slide the other one on over there. Then it says connect the wires from the right upright to the console frame. So there's wires tucked in here. I like how everything is wired tied in so it's easy to grab. Don't have to worry about it slipping. Grab the console frame. It's got wires in here as well. Again, same connectors, a two prong and a three prong. So go ahead and plug these in. There's a little connector at the top that latches them in. Make sure you got them in the right way. Otherwise they probably won't work. Pretty easy. And we're gonna shoot those back down in the frame and then the frame slides right over the top. This is why they tell you to keep the bolts loose so that you can position that all the way down in there, slide them in, and we're gonna fasten it right underneath. We're gonna use two screws per side to fasten it. So now just tighten those down. Do the other side over here. Fasten those down all the way now. So now let's go ahead and tighten these down. Now we can tighten the uprights. This blue handle tool is for tightening the uprights. I like that, that's better than an Allen wrench. That makes it a little bit easier. Man, that's solid. Step six, as shown in the figure, first connect the left and right upper cover with the base cover and then fix both upright covers with four ST4 by 15 screws. Then attach the bottle holder to the left upright with two cross groove flathead tapered full tooth bolts. These are the side covers. Little screws down here. Putting on the side covers with two little screws. So we're down here, I already got it on, forgot to press record, goes on pretty easy. Two screws to put in here, pretty easy to get in. It snaps right in right here. Just put the snap in and then put the piece on. Okay, so the final thing is to install the water bottle holder. Two easy screws to put into it. Goes over here on the left upright. There's two spots for screws. Some special screws here to go with it. They're Phillips head. I like that this water bottle holder is on the outside so you don't hit it while you're running. Oh man, first try. Nice job, Mike. First try. All right, so that was the last thing I had to do was install that water bottle holder. So I'm gonna clean up the mess a little bit turn this sucker around and give it a shot. It's actually very easy to maneuver, very easy to slide. I mean, it's kind of kind of heavy and bulky, but most of these treadmills are. It's got a handle on the back so you can hold it. All right, before we test it out, we got to put some batteries in the console. Four AA's that were shipped with it. 
that's nice. You don't have to go get your own batteries. It's a silly thing, but it's little things like that that can be annoying when getting equipment. So it's time to jump on there and give it a try. This is officially the first time that I am stepping on the Grit Runner Elite. Make sure I got the resistance. Ooh, nice and smooth. Nice and smooth for walking if I wanna walk. Now, full disclosure, I've only been on a few other treadmills like this, curved treadmills, and I always felt like they were just, I'm gonna fall, I gotta go, right? So this, I was able to get on it and start walking a little bit and not feel like I'm gonna fall over. So that's nice if I ever wanted to walk on the treadmill, if I can do some walking with it. My wife might wanna do some walking. I like that. The resistance, I have it set to the lowest of resistance that it has. We'll put it on the highest resistance. Oh man, that definitely makes a difference. Makes it a lot lower, a lot slower. Now that we're on it, Let's give it a chance running. I'm not a runner, so my technique might be terrible, but that's one of the things I'm most excited about with this is I get to work on my running. I get to become a better runner, I get to become a better athlete because I'm gonna improve my running. Okay. Oh, I like it. Easy, I don't feel like I'm gonna fall over, which is important for me. It feels pretty good. I can go a little faster if I want to. If I want to stop, get off of it, it slows down pretty good. Man, that's smooth. And what I like about it is I don't feel like I'm shaking. <laughs> I've been on other treadmills where they're not as heavy duty. And when I was talking to the Grit people, originally talked about just the Grit Runner, but the Grit Runner Elite is a little heavier duty. And for me, 6'5", 275 pounds, a little more heavy duty is not a bad thing. So I just upped the resistance. It's definitely Harder, definitely. I don't know if that it's, it's not like a heavy sled push, but it's definitely harder to do. Yeah, I like that. Let's turn around and go the other way. Yeah, that's nice. Makes it pretty easy for all you knees over toes people. The build quality. I love how sturdy it feels. Doesn't feel like it's gonna break when I run on it, so that's awesome. So let's do the resistance. Put it back to low again and run. down. Stride length feels pretty good too. Don't feel like I'm going to fall off of it. I wonder if I can run at the max resistance. Let's try that. Oh gosh. <laughs> That's hard to do. <laughs> running. <clears throat> running at the max resistance. Yeah. Wow. Can't do that. One of the things I'm most excited about with this is I can work on my cardiovascular uh, endurance, which is great. I need it. <laughs> My initial impression of the Grit Runner Elite, this thing is a beast. It's a heavily built piece of equipment. Definitely gonna use this, put this to work, and I know that it will withstand a long-term use and abuse that I'm gonna do. Stay tuned to the channel for more because I'm gonna be putting this thing through the ringer. So far, the thing I like most is that added resistance. It does feel like a sled push. Obviously, it's not gonna be crazy amount of weight because you can only put so much resistance on it but it's pretty good. I couldn't run full tilt with it on the max resistance. As far as build quality goes, it is solid. The treads feel really durable. Everything feels really good there. The side plates are <laughs> heavy duty. The True Grit logo on the side looks awesome. I mean, it's just heavy duty. It feels really, really solid. As far as the True Grit Runner Elite is concerned, damn. This is an awesome piece of equipment. So that's it for my first impressions on the Grit Runner Elite. Super pumped for this piece of equipment. If you got some value from this, go ahead and hit that like button. If you wanna try any of the True Grit products, specifically the Grit Runner Elite, go ahead and use my affiliate link in the description. Much appreciated on that. And if you want more content like this, hit the subscribe button so that I can give you some more information on the True Grit brand, the Grit Runner Elite, and all kinds of things to help you perform better and recover faster.